Hi everyone, it's Doug from Bjorn Territory. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I painted the Andrasta from the Dominion box set. It's a fun model. It's an awesome figure, beautiful sculpt. A little intimidating to start with, but hopefully my video will give you some confidence to crack on and have a go yourself. Catch you in a bit. Okay, let's look at Yendrasta, the Celestial Spear. She has a missile weapon, the Thingaver. I'm going to pronounce it like that. It's 18 inches, one attack, two plus to hit, two plus to wound, minus two rend and d6 damage. Pretty meaty. She also has a melee weapon, Blade of the High Heavens. Range one inch, four attacks, three plus to hit, two plus to wound, minus two rend and three damage. She also is the known as the Prime Huntress. So despite her angelic appearance, Indrasta relishes hunting the mightiest and most terrifying quarry. Lifetimes of experiences, celestial strength, and the power of her spear, Thingaver, see even the most monolithic of terrors swiftly fall before her wrath. If any enemy monster are within three inches of this unit, add 10 to the number of wounds suffered by those monsters when determining which row on their damage table to use. Mm -mm. Champion of Sigma, forged by Sigma's own hand, Yandrasta is protected by a divine aura of so potent that swords and arrows simply rebound off her. This unit has a four plus ward. Dazzling Radiance, Yandrasta's god touch brilliance can call stranded stormcast souls once more into the fray. Once per turn in your hero phase, if this unit is on the battlefield, you can return one slain model to each friendly Stormcast Eternals unit with a wounds characteristic of three or less that is wholly within 12 inches of this unit. Whoa. Hawk of the Celestial Skies, the sight of Yndrester's seraphic form soaring overhead inspires her warriors with immeasurable resolve. Do not take battle shock tests for friendly stormcast eternals and cities of sigma units wholly within 12 inches of this unit she has a 12 inch move three plus save 10 bravery and eight wounds so the cost of the andresta celestial spear is 300 points so i've base coated the andresta in a wraith bone and my first colour, I'm going to go with Cygore Brown. I want to focus on the tree in the background. Now, I don't normally touch the bases until later. But I just wanted to get it started. Especially areas that I don't want to think about later. So, Cygore Brown. Contrast for the tree. I've decided to go for a flesh being a little bit lighter. So, I'm going to base with Rakoth flesh. I'm just focusing on her face. For the inside of the cloak, I'm going to use your Shapti bone. For the wings, I'm going to start with a coat of grey seer. Next colour is Contrast Black Templar. With the black, I'm focusing on all the flat parts of armour. I'm also going to do the base of her headpiece. Next colour, Mephiston Red. And with the Mephiston Red, I'm focusing on the outside of the cloak. For her hair, I'm going in with Grey Seer. Next colour is Lead Belcher. With Lead Belcher, I'm coming in for all the plate armour. And the emblems, like the knee guards, etc. And now I'm going to focus on the wings. And I'm going to bring in a black Templar contrast paint. I'm going to use it quite watery. And I'm going to focus on just the middle section of feathers. I'm becoming quite heavy with the Black Templar on the top edge of the wing. Just going to water down my Black Templar 
It's more of a wash. I'm now going to come in with a little bit of night haunt gloom into the black. Just to tidy up some of the bottom edges of the feathers again, I'm coming in with Administratum Grey where things have leaked. So it just needs to dry a bit now for the wings before I do any washes. With the Eshin Grey, I'm just coming in for all the stone work. War boss green now. Okay, with the war boss green, I'm going to pick out all these dingleberries, swamp white things hanging from the tree. So I've just added in little bits of retributor armor, gold on some of the ends of spears, some of the detailed parts. Uh, don't forget to do skulls, etc., on the base. There's a little metal thing here, so first wash, non oil. With the known oil, I'm going over the entire wing. Also apply known oil to the metal parts of the miniature for the base. All the grey. A little bit of writing flesh for her face. Agrax Earth Shade for all the grass and the red parts. But the washes are dry. I'm coming back on the wings with Administratum Grey. And also focus on the back of the wings as well, the lower part. I'm also going to come back in with the Night Haunt Gloom. With the Night Haunt Gloom, I'm just coming in on the tips of the middle layer. Worst Night Haunt gloom dries. I'm going to add in some kiss left flesh for a highlight on the face. So just on her nose, her lips. I then come back in with Mephiston Red on the cloak. Mephiston Red, I'm focusing on the raised areas and keeping the recesses with the dark shade that's been created. I then come in with Evil Sun Scarlet and with this Evil Sun Scarlet, I'm just picking up the edges, the large areas. With the Wild Rider Red, I'm going to do edges of the cloak. Sharp edge. Here. The next thing, a little highlight on some of the textures on the spear, sword and belt. Lead belcher for the metal plate again just to bring it back alive. On here, all I'm going to do is make sure that I keep the recesses dark from the shadows and the higher points lighter. I'm now going to come in with chainmail to make the metal pot top edges of the armor, make it stand out even brighter. For the cloak and skulls and coming back in with Shakti Bay. Just focus on the raised areas, leaving the lower areas darker. Whilst that dries, I'm going to come in with a dry brush on the wings with Administratum Grey. Coming back in on the black armour with Contrast Black Templar in the centre of the plate, making it brighter. Then on the lower tips of the wings, I'm going to add a dry brush of Ceramite White. For the base, I'm coming in with Administratum Grey for the bricks. A 
then a dry brush of Ceramite White. Just a couple more bits to do. A couple of highlights of Wraith Bane on the cloak and the tails. The ends I just want to get and the sides. Bit of an edge highlight with Wraith Bone. And on the cloak as well. Using the wall bus green to go at the tips of the plants, keeping the tops darker and the bottom tips brighter. I'm going to come in with an Astro Granite Debris for the base. And come in with some PVA. Just a little bit here and a few little bits on the corners of the step. What I'm coming in with is a bit of flock. few bits of the undergrowth from Battlefields, Army Painter. Make it pop a little bit. I might tuck this in a little bit there. There you go, I'm quite pleased with this. One of my favourite minis definitely from the Dominion box sets, just straight away. And the artwork on the rule book is just incredible. So the Indrasta just looks epic. I wonder what she's like to play with, we'll find out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed painting her and making her base. And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe and I'll stick a few photos on afterwards. Take care, everyone. Speak soon.